Hello, this is a brief tutorial on how to make a Left 4 Dead map. Right, firstly you have to log on to Steam. Once on Steam, go to your Tools subcategory and click Left 4 Dead Offering Tools Beta. If you wanted to create another map such as Counter Strike Source, you will have to use Source SDK, but for now, use the Left 4 Dead one. Double click this or click launch and you will get a box. This box shows Hammer World Editor, Model Viewer, Face Poser, etc. 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 To create the map, you have to use Hammer World Editor. Now, by double clicking this, you shall get a box like this. This is Hammer. It may take a good while to load up. This is which is why I've preloaded this before the tutorial to save some time. It could take up to five minutes, so do be aware it, it hasn't crashed on you. So take your time. Right, first things first, click File, then New. This will bring up four grids. Each grid has its own definition. First grid is the texture, and the three other grids are the size, like top, bottom, side. Yeah. Right. So let's get started. To create a wall, floor, or side, you have to use the block tool. This is the grey box in your underneath the entitled tool. Click this and draw anywhere on the grids. This will bring a box up on your hammer editor. By clicking enter, this will draw the tool. I mean the wall, sorry. Right. As you can see, the texture is just not a floor. So we have to go to this texture group by here. Click browse, and then you can either filter what you want to see or what you want to look for. You can just look manually. But I want a floor, so I want. Let's just go for tile. Um, I quite like the look of this one. So you double click that, and then you click on the object you want to change the texture of, and click this little brick tool. This will change the texture and makes it look pretty nice to be honest right now as it's only a floor I don't want it that thick so I'm gonna edit this and make it very small as you can see it's quite thin which isn't usually the greatest thing so I'm gonna make it a bit bigger now to adjust it without it going to the lines you have to hold alt this lets you adjust it the way you want it so I'm gonna do it about halfway it doesn't have to be precise but it can be as much as you want it to be Right, so there we go. The floor is inserted. But to have a floor, you must have walls and ceiling. Without this, the map will go all glitchy and blurry, and the map will be very unplayable, to be honest. Right, so let's create the walls. Up here, we have the top view. So, I'm going to click my block tool again. Draw, what I want. And choose the height I want it to be. Let's save our bat height. That's quite good. So once again, I have a different texture, and I don't want this texture. So we go to browse. Let's go for wallpaper. Let's see what comes up. Right, we have a range of wallpapers. Um, I quite like the look of this old texture. Right. So as you can see, it's not how I want it to be because the wall is way too big. So you have to just mess about with it really um, until you get the right size and shapes so if I go here bring this down I now have the right height for a wall right so now you wanna copy this for all four sides now for this side of the wall just click that hold shift apologies for that and then not rows. Right, so where was I? Right, click shift and drag it across. This will just copy the wall quite basically. So if we turn around, we see it on the other side. Right. Now if you can see I've done the wall a bit too long. So you can copy them both by holding control and dragging them smaller. Right. Now I want to make walls to the other side. So once again click the block tool and drag it along. Choose the height click enter right now as you can see 
for some odd reason it's just wrong so once again just fuss about with it sort it out get it to the right way you want it and then put it into place and once again hold shift drag it across you don't have to do this by the way you can just create the wall again but it's a lot easier to be honest so there we go we have all four walls so now we need a ceiling so once again click the tool the grey tool and drag it across now as you can see this is running through the whole house so we need to ch change the height now I want to do it about halfway as I done with the floor and we will get a wall but once again wrong texture so write in a roof or a ceiling which I'm going to write in ceiling and I'll get a various ceilings I like the look at that one so there we go so now if I go in my room we've got a pretty standard room so now that we have my room I'm going to get to the more detailed stuff for a room we need a player so first things first you will click the entirety tool which is like a little light bulb or a chess piece as most many people have called it so you click this and click somewhere on the texture part of the map now as you can see there is a Francis player but first things first you definitely need an info player stat which you might not have needed on many maps like Counter Strike Source you don't need an info player stat so you write an info and score player and just go start and apply this will give you a green half life 2 man and he seems pretty much on the floor right now we need to create bots so I'm gonna create four of these and highlight them all I'm gonna double click one of the players and it says survivor name now there are four bots Francis, Zoe, Lewis and Bill you have to put each name for each person so for this one I'm going to put Francis for this one I'm going to put Lewis for this one for this one I'm going to put Bill sorry about that and for this one I'm going to put Zoe now if you notice they're all facing the wrong way so I'm going to highlight them all by clicking control and clicking on I'm going to double click and I'm going to change the angle and apply they are now facing the direction I want them to face so now we have the players stat which is all good right so now that we've got players I'm guessing you want lights well you don't actually have to put lights into the map if you put no lights the the map will remain light but if you put one single light in it will darken out the rest of the map and keep that one light alive so for this tutorial I'm not going to put lights in um, right so the bots are in and everything else is which we need to not make the map glitchy so I'm going to put in some weapons so once again you click the entire detour and click somewhere now you can either double click and change the name to weapon underscore whatever gun you want so if you wanted a hunting rifle you write hunting rifle this will give you the hunting rifle and place it on the floor now it will be upright as you can see on here so you want to move it about click the weapon and rotate it so it's laying on its side make it look a bit more realistic say we wanted a rifle in there we will do the same again weapon underscore rifle underscore spawn apply and once again we get the rifle but again it's on its front so we would rotate it round to its side and there we go right for this and also we would want a auto shotgun but for this time I'm going to click this and instead of before clicking somewhere on the map to get it you are Francis I'm going to come up here on the objects I'm going to write it weapon underscore auto shotgun so now if I click anywhere on the map the shotgun will appear which is an easier way but now every time that 
we click the entire e tool, we should get a shotgun face up. So we now have our weapons. So quite basically now we need a health kit. So we need four of these. So now if I go to weapon underscore health first a kit click four places on the map we will have our four health kits which is much easier than copy and pasting or rewriting it in every time so that is the basics of making a map um, please view tutorial 2 to see how to create skyboxes and prop materials hope you enjoy and good luck with your mapping